Topping our news, the search continues at this hour off the Hawaiian island of Oahu for the 12 people who were on board two marine helicopters that crashed overnight. Search crews that arrived on the scene shortly after midnight were able to spot a debris field. Military officials say each of the transport choppers had six people on board. Witnesses reported hearing a loud boom over the water, then they saw a big flare in the sky. An empty life raft has been found and the Coast Guard said conditions are challenging because of the high surf. Actor Sean Penn sits down with CBS's Charlie Rose to talk about the actor's shocking Rolling Stone interview with wanted drug king Penn El Chapo. Kenneth Craig shows us more of what you'll see on this weekend's 60 Minutes. There is this myth about the, the visit that we made. Sean Penn tells 60 Minutes Charlie Rose that he does not believe his October interview with Joaquin El Chapo Guzman led to the drug lord's capture last week. So as far as you know, you had nothing to do, and, and your visit had nothing to do with his uh, recapture? The Mexican government, they were clearly very humiliated by the notion that someone found him before they did. Well, nobody found him before they did. We didn't, we're not smarter than the DEA or the Mexican intelligence. We had a contact upon which we were able to facilitate an invitation. Guzman escaped one of Mexico's maximum security prisons last July by crawling through a hole in a shower and then a mile-long tunnel 30 feet underground. Guzman is believed to be responsible for as many as 34,000 deaths. Officials say his Sinaloa cartel is the number one supplier of heroin, cocaine, and marijuana to the U.S. Do you believe that the Mexican government released this in part because they wanted to see you blamed and to put you at risk? Yes. They wanted to encourage the cartel to put you in their crosshairs? Yes. Are you fearful for your life? No. Penn says the focus on his meeting with Guzman and his recapture means that his article, which was supposed to bring attention to the war on drugs, has failed. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. A Munver, Tennessee couple has come forward saying they are the big winners of the Powerball jackpot. John and Lisa Robinson made their first public appearance earlier this morning, their attorney right there with them. They say they purchased the ticket at Nafee's Market in Munford, not far from their home. The couple says they're on their way to Nashville to have that ticket confirmed by officials at Lottery Headquarters here. They'll split the nearly $1.6 billion prize with two other winners, one in Florida and one in California. Going to be a good weekend for everybody and hope you have a good weekend too.